A new reality is emerging in medical schools across the country as the pandemic is forcing med schools to lean more on technology for training. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom shows us how Kansas City University is on the cutting edge of teaching future physicians. Like I said, if you guys have never felt kind of training before, today's the day to try it. With multiple monitors for social distancing, Kansas City University students like Brandon Bishop, a second year medical student, are wearing masks and sometimes goggles. Welcome to the next generation of medical school. Hello, Ray. I'm your doctor. What's brought you in today? Where virtual reality transports the student into their future. It kind of actually puts you in the hospital so you can interact with the different things that you normally would during um, a patient encounter. Using controllers, Brandon accesses the menu, selecting instructions for the nurse and selecting his treatment plan for the patient. How are you feeling now, Ray? If I click on his head, then I can communicate with him. If I click on his body, then I can examine him. And so, you know, you can do a hard, hard exam, a long exam. And you get constructive feedback about your performance. Virtual reality learning for medical students is not new, but the level of technology is increasingly sophisticated. The new Center for Medical Education Innovation at KCU was built for the new technology, and construction was completed in early 2020. So when COVID-19 hit, remote learning quickly took on this new reality. So things like virtual reality, augmented and mixed reality, we're using lifelike simulation with simulated mannequins. We're actually integrating it into our systems courses. So when we're learning about the heart, we're also going to be, be teaching them how to do the ultrasounds of the heart. Being able to go down to the mannequin and actually listen to it and hear what it actually sounds like, it made a difference. It made it a little bit more solid in our heads. Despite this pandemic, enrollment at medical schools across the country is at an all-time high. The Association of American Medical Colleges reported a 17% jump this year in applications for medical school. Applications and enrollment at KCU increased by more than 30%, and there's a waiting list. Brendan says he's wanted to be a doctor since he was five years old, and COVID-19 is only fueling his decision and likely inspiring others. Seeing that that COVID's out there and how it affects people and the way it impacts society. That's the reason I got into medicine. I want to make a difference. KCU executives insist virtual reality and augmented reality will never take the place of professors or student experiences with real patients, but they believe it's the new paradigm to better prepare the next generation of doctors. Our accrediting bodies are mandating that we meet the same standards. So although we're doing it differently, we're still meeting the standards that have been set for medical schools and for our clinical rotations. Combining virtual reality in medical school with the coming reality of working with patients as a resident, Brandon believes he'll be ready. Don't worry, you're in exactly the right place. In the long run, I think it'll give me a much better foundation. A foundation he's building with his wife, Joelle, of saving lives and making a difference. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. Physicians and curriculum teams will be measuring outcomes from virtual reality training in medical schools, deciding what works and what needs to be changed. That is awesome.